the opportunity that you have with these robot drivers isn't just to be better than humans. They could be multiple uh, times better than humans. And I think the industry should take that opportunity and increase the bar on safety appropriately as a result of this in incredible opportunity. Third, you need to mass produce these cars affordably, right? It's not about 100 cars or 1,000 cars. You need hundreds of thousands of cars. That is going to take a while, and the OEM industry is definitely taking notice. They're investing. But, you know, these vehicle platforms takes years to develop. Then, once you have the vehicles, you need to operate them on the ground. Fleet operations, it's a ground kind of uh, game. We're very familiar with that. We already have fleets all over the world. And then you need really high utilization because the cars are expensive. You need to operate them at high utilization, both during peak times and during troughs as well. Right. The only way you bring all that together, this commercialization, is with Uber and the AV industry. It's going to take a while. As that time passes, you're going to see a lot of autonomous players coming in with these big transformer models, with the deep seek moment that we, that we saw. The development of this technology is going to be cheaper and cheaper and cheaper. But we think that with the safety promise and with a partnership uh, like ours, we can build autonomous to be a very, very big Are you 